Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by Michael from South Carolina who sent me a sample of Old Fitzgerald 13 year old bottled in bond. So this is the spring 2013 release that typically comes in this lovely bottle right here. It goes for $130 MSRP if you can find it. So I wanted the opportunity to kind of try it before I buy it. So that's why I'm so glad I got my hands on a sample of it. This is a product I really don't know too much about um, other than, you know, what they tell me on the website. Um, I know it is a 13 year old bottled in bond weeded bourbon. Um, from Heaven Hill, but a lot of people buy these because they come in these really cool decanters that I do still really want one, but like I said, I want to make sure the whiskey inside is good enough to buy, to justify buying a bottle that expensive. So, so poured a little bit of the sample here in the glass. Um, first of all, the color on it is really dark. I mean, that 13 years definitely shows up in the color. Um, probably is going to show up in other ways too, but definitely in the color. Now, weeded bourbons, usually from my experience, the older weeded bourbons don't usually, um, show as much like depth of like the dark oaky flavors so i'm curious to see if this kind of follows that trend so let's go ahead and give it a nose oh yeah that's that's different on the nose that's i thought this was gonna be a lot more familiar to me um because i i have drank a lot of weeded bourbons lately um i love makers 46 makers cast strength as well as the woodford reserve wheat whiskey so i expected a little bit more commonalities on those to this but this is a little bit different it's not really fruit forward I, normally like some of those weeded whiskeys you get a lot of fruit flavor this one is kind of like bread forward and i guess i could compare it to larceny which is another um heaven hill weeded bourbon it is very baked goodsy on the nose it's more of like a light fluffy dessert like a twinkie or something i don't know it's kind of it reminds me of a twinkie on the nose in a good way though there is a lot more of the oak on there than i expected there to be on the nose because that's usually something i don't usually pick up on weeded bourbon so let's see how that translates on the taste definitely light and I guess I should expect that because, again, this is a bottled and bond whiskey, which means it's bottled at 100 proof. So it's not quite the Larceny Barrel Proof, which I'm really excited to try, but this is pretty pretty similar to what that's going to be, I imagine. That's just going to be amped up a ton and also obviously not as old. But, wow, there's a lot going on. For something to only be 100 proof, there's really a lot going on in the glass. It's not so much Twinkie on the palate. It's more like a freshly baked um, loaf of bread. Um, like something you get up at, at a bakery. Of course, it's not as spicy because it doesn't have that rye content in the mash bill. It's got that wheat instead, so it's more of a mellow, smooth flavor. But that finish for a 100-proof whiskey is really, really nice. I mean, it lingers almost like a barrel-proof whiskey. So I guess that goes to say that, like, you don't have to have that high proof of a whiskey just to have that long finish because this goes on and on and on. People don't really tend to drink weeders unless it's like a Weller or a Pappy or something. I think it's kind of an underlooked category from these other distilleries. And I commend Heaven Hill for putting out a limited edition premium product like this with so much flavor and a sexy ass bottle. This definitely gets a recommend from me. Um, I will definitely be keeping an eye out for a bottle of it because I would love to add this and the others to my collection. They've had a 13 year, an 11 year old, a 9 year old, and a 15 year old. I think I'm right, I could be wrong. But I am excited to try all of these. And I, I, I once kind of slept on this. Like this was an option at a lottery that I was able to enter. And I put it pretty low down on my list. But next year, this was gonna be up there because this is a really exceptional whiskey. And when you're paying retail for it, it's a great value. So that's about it for this. Have you tried any of the old Fitzgerald bottle and bonds? I'm curious um, if you tried this one or any of the other ones, leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you think it was worth it? What did you do with the bottle? Did you turn it into an infinity bottle? Because that's totally what I would do. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm here to help you drink good whiskey and old Fitzgerald bottle and bond, great whiskey. Cheers. Mm -hmm.